So I'm going to be making a passion fruit souffle. In order to do this, we need to make a creme patissier. What we need to do is we need to heat up our milk and combine our sugar, our corn flour, and our egg yolks together to a smooth paste. At this point, we just need to whisk it together, make sure there's no lumps. So now I'm going to combine the milk with the yolks and I'm going to return it back to the pan and cook it to a thick custard. I think the secret to a good souffle is the, the strong base. So the thicker the base, the more structure is going to be in the souffle. So what we're looking for here is a very thick custard, which is going to act as a base for our souffle, and it's going to give it the structure to keep this souffle nice and tall. So now we've got our thick custard for the base. We need to make a flavouring, and we're going to make a, a puree from the, the passion fruit. So we're going to add the passion fruit to the pan. And we're going to thicken that with a little bit of corn flour. So the idea here is to thicken the passion fruit that's been previously passed. Uh, I passed it through the sieve to discard the seeds, but getting the nice juice and the, the full flavour in there. So all we're going to do is thicken this up slightly to give us a good flavour and a good stable base. And we'll whisk in all the time just to ensure there's no lumps. And that's going to act as a base for us to flip. So the passion fruit puree like that, that's perfect, that's the way you want it. So with any souffle, the way we butter the ramekin is really important. So we're just going to lightly coat the ramekin with unsalted butter. And then we're going to line it with the caster sugar. So we're just running it round the edge. And tapping any excess out. So the key to the souffle rising, we need to get a nice stiff meringue. So we're going to add the egg whites and we're going to beat them gradually and then we're going to add the sugar. Add the sugar. At this stage, the meringue should be nice and light. Uh, but not split, because sometimes if you over whip the meringue, it can go a little bit grainy. So now we're going to build the souffling. So we're going to do that by incorporating two parts of the creme patissier, one part of the passion fruit puree. And we're going to mix that together with the meringue. So at this stage, it's important to beat the mix very vigorously because you don't want any lumps. So now we're ready to add the first part of our meringues. I'm going to swap the whisk for a marise and I'm lightly going to fold in the rest of the egg white. So I'm folding the egg white in in stages so I can retain as much air as possible and doing that you're going to get a nice light souffle. That's the base for our souffle ready. Now what we need to do is fill our ramekins. So gently popping the souffle mix into the ramekin, trying not to beat out any of the air. Move it off the top and just giving it a gentle tap just to remove any air pockets. We'd run our finger around the edge just to make sure that there's no souffle sticking to the rim. Now it's going to be cooked for seven minutes at 170 degrees. So here you have my passion fruit souffle, ready for garnishing with a little bit of icing sugar and some fresh passion fruit.
So there you have it, my passion for it souffle. Why don't you give it a try? It's not as difficult as you may think.